Prince of Persia is back and our favorite gaming royalty is going back to his roots. Kind of. After a 10 year hiatus, the prince is back as a 2.5D metroidvania. It's an action platformer by the way. The game has a new look and a new protagonist to play as. PlayStation India gets a lowdown straight from game developer Munir Radi. Hi Munir, could you please introduce yourself to the audience? So hello PlayStation India, I am Munir Radi, game director on Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. Nice to meet you guys. What made you pivot back to the 2.5D structure after nearly 13 years of making 3D games? Obviously, what, that was kind of true for us because you may know that in uh, the studio of Ubisoft Montpellier, we worked on uh, different uh, games, different genres. You may know also that we have a big appeal on platforming games. And we have a lot of souvenirs on the first Prince of Persia games. I'm talking about the 2D games. And we wanted just to, to merge those souvenirs with our expertise on 2D platformer games. That's why Prince of Persia of the Lost Crown is naturally in 2D, 2.5D. How rewarding is exploration in this game? Um, would the Metroidvania structure encourage replayability? Yes, of course, when you deal with uh, Metroidvania genre, exploration is always at the core. So you have all the, this bunch of hidden secrets, hidden rooms, and uh, the, all the systems, all the progression of the characters is tied to exploration. We don't have, uh, you know, uh, RPG elements. You have to explore the world to earn new powers, to earn new things. So again, Prince of Persia, is, the Lost Crown, is a true Metroidvania in its core. And uh, that's it. And that was also super challenging as developer. So. Always, always uh, happy to to talk about this topic with uh, with you guys. Got it. So through exploration, we're gonna find new abilities. Which brings me to my next question: um, Are we gonna get to play as the prince? Since now we know that we're gonna be playing as an immortal named Sargon. And also, is this the start of a new trilogy? Okay, so <laughs> let's get humble. There, <laughs> we are not the people who decide which is uh, who if we will go into, uh, you know, uh, specific sequels to this uh, game. For sure, we'll have to play this game and we will heard about our players. That's it. If the game is, uh, you know, appealed by our players, maybe we'll think about specific sequels. But for sure, this is not the end of 3D games. Prince of Persia, the Prince of Persia series has a huge legacy into 3D games. And that's why we are uh, as Ubisoft Montpellier, trying to to bring a new and fresh experience to this uh, series of games. But this is not the end of the other 3D games, for sure. So will the Lost Crown feature modern gameplay mechanics such as crafting and upgrading, etc. Or is it going to play more like the old school Prince of Persia titles? Yes, so when you, you deal with um, game design, you have to be sure that your game design is, is modern. But the Metroidvania genre, as I said, is a genre where the exploration is at its core. So by exploring this world, you have the ability to find specific resources that allow you, will allow you to upgrade your gear. I mean, your sword, your bow, etc. Even your amulets. That's why we wanted to be sure that in Prince of Persia, and that's quite different of old school games, we respect play playstyles. So each player will have the ability to dig into specific things, to, pro to develop and to upgrade sp specific things. If they want to, to play more with their with specific powers or with specific gears, they will have the choice to upgrade them at their convenience. This is, we just give them specific tools and they are free to play and to upgrade them at their convenience. How challenging is the platforming in this game since the older Prince of Persia titles definitely had some throw your controller at the screen moments? Okay, so for sure the, the platforming has always been challenging and demanding to the Prince of Persia series. I think this is uh, an important aspect of uh, the Prince of Persia brand and we wanted to, to respect that again. So 
I can say that platforming and even combat are quite challenging in our game. But we uh, ensured that every player could pass and achieve all those challenges. So that and that's why we we wanted to bring specific features uh, of accessibility that allow all players to to pass through platforming sequence and combat, such as if I can uh, give us give you a specific example, if you are stuck into a platforming challenge, you have an, an option that allows you to summon a portal. If you enter this portal, you will pass through a specific bunch of the platforming this platforming sequence, and that's how we handle this topic. And you have also other parameters and other options that allows you to change the difficulty on combat and even in guidance if you are lost. If I could give you a ratio between combat and platforming, um, I have to admit that combat is more important in our game, has more importance than the platforming. I mean, it's about 60, 40. But you have also the, the puzzle sequences that you should uh, consider into this equation. Now we know that this game features an amulet upgrade system, but uh, how does that work exactly? And what kind of weapons are we going to be able to use? So the amulet system is the main way to uh, foster our play styles and uh, character building. So there's two types of amulets. The first one uh, allows the players to change and modify uh, Sargon attributes, such as his damage, his power, and uh, the, the power of his arrows, etc. His ability to resist against specific damage attributes also. That's the first one. Other amulets are gameplay modifiers. They have a direct uh, impact on how you play the game. An example, with uh, the multi of the, um, the amulet that allow you to, to shoot three arrows instead of one. If you upgrade this uh, amulet, you have the opportunity to uh, shoot five arrows. If you mix this amulet with uh, another that allow you to, to bring a fire element to your arrows, you can after that uh, shoot five arrows of fire with a fire property. So the player will, will have the ability to mix with these different amulets and to toy them so that they can exper experiment different things. And they will have specific surprise also because uh, we wanted also to be sure that um, when we give, we'll give this tool to, to our players, they can, you know, in specific aspects, uh, in specific way, um, use ex different exploits to uh, be sure that they can also fast run the, the game. So we are also thinking about our speedrunners, and we know that there's some option that allow the players to, to play this game faster. Boy, does the game sound stacked. Um, thanks for your time, Money. I cannot wait to play The Prince of Persia Lost Crown when it's out on the 15th of Jan. And you, if you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to PlayStation India's YouTube channel, ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything we upload. And for now, it's your boy Pollock signing off. Peace. Please stay strong.